guys that Hagler fought a Leonard, who had moved up one fight to have to fight Kaluli, won that title, then then took off three years to fight Marvin, and he beat Marvin. So, and then you look at some of the fighters that Marvin fought. You know, you have a lot of the same kind of fighters that we fight. Uh, he never, he really didn't have that many marquee fighters that he fought on his record. We have had some champions. I don't think we've ever fought somebody that's not in the top ten. Some uh, we've, uh, 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 I think most of the guys have been in the top five. There's been a couple champions, but nobody in any era in any division has ever dominated a division like Golovkin has dominated. Hey, but I, I want to feed off a little bit of what he said. Actually, it's perceived that Canelo is a tough challenge for Golovkin, and, and and what if he want to challenge himself, and therefore. You know, it'll get to the point where he has to make the fight with Canelo happen. Even he doesn't he have to, to do anything. Something. No, he doesn't have to do to anything. Challenge himself. No. Why would he have to? Ch Maybe why would he? Why would he give in into a diva? Why would he give in to somebody that's trying to change boxing? 155 is not a division. I think we have 17 divisions in boxing right now. What do you need any more for? He's walking through all his opponents. I mean, is the Canelo seems to be the only challenge out there. Oh, and the then scene. when he knocks Canelo out, what are you guys gonna say? And he's gonna fight Klitschko? Both of them both of them at the same time. That's what he just said right now. You know, he, uh, it comes a point where it gets ridiculous uh, uh, because he has uh, he has goals himself. And one of the goals is to, to, to equal the great Bernard Hopkins. I mean, Bernard Hopkins is the last middleweight unified champion. He wants to equal that first. And then if he happens to win uh, uh, more defenses, uh, that's even better for him. Uh, he has a hell of a lot of respect for Bernard and, and, and what he done. So to, to equal that mark would be something that nobody else has done. Yeah. Hey, but you know, what Lance said was, you know, you, you guys don't you don't want to come. You guys don't want to come down and wait. But you we know, don't have to come down and wait. No, but you know, everybody, Floyd, Austin, everybody's had that thing where they had to be the B side. They had to give up certain concessions in order to get to where they want to. And if he did that, I mean, that, that, those two three pounds would actually mean more to Gennady just to get that fight and, and move to that yeah, next round. It would mean nothing to us. It would mean nothing to us. It would mean nothing to us other than a bigger paycheck. But you know, he's getting very good money right now. Mm. He's happy fighting at 160 pounds. Again, if once he wins the title, uh, has the title himself and he's a unified champion, then things can change. Then negotiations can happen. But until he's a unified champion, he's not gonna, he's not gonna bow down to a diva. Are you a victim of your own success? That could be true. That could be true. But you know what? If if Canelo doesn't fight him in, for the WBC title, then he not only does he take on another 15 contenders that deserve a chance to fight for the title because everybody works their way up. And, and once those other 15 uh, uh, pro, uh, contenders, they're going to want a shot too. So we take on, um, con we have consequences by winning a title. What does that mean? If we don't fight this fight tonight, he gets the belt strip, just like uh, Tyson Fury got his belt strip. And it, we worked too hard to get to that point for, for us to not to, to fight it. Now, if he was a WBC title and WBC says you got to fight the number one contender, then what do we do? We're not going to give it up. We're going to fight the WBC number one contender. That's just part of what he wants to do as a fighter and as a as a guy that wants to go down in history. Have you got a sense from um, Mauricio Suleiman that you know, he will, he will there make is, him? There is a letter in place that I have a copy of that was signed by the Golden Boy people and by the K2 people and by Gennady and, 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 and uh, the Reynosos that says they have 15 days after the 7th to decide whether they want to fight or not. If they decide they do want to fight, they got 30 days to negotiate. If they decide that they can't come to terms, then it goes to Perspid. And it clearly states that the Perspid will, will be conducted and will be fought under WBC rules. There's certain percentages that go to each fighter, and there's certain length of time for the for the winning promoter to stage it. And it also says that it's the middleweight title. It's not the Canelo weight title, it's the middleweight title, which is 160 pounds. So the 15 days after the seventh is probably the most important part uh, of, of all this. I mean, we'll find out. Is, is Canelo, is Canelo do you, you just right is he scared to take this fight? Is that no, what you think it is? No, what, I don't think he's scared. Think he's, like Gennady said a little while ago, he's a warrior. He's a warrior and he's a good fighter and he's improved a heck of a lot. But the business of boxing today I think supersedes any, any anything that we want to see. You think it's Oscar? That's oh, of course it's Oscar. Of course, it has to be. Uh, look, uh, who else does he have? We took Lemieux from him. Uh, now Lemieux's not the star that he could have been, and now uh, Canelo's the only one left. What kind of re what kind of repercussions would there be from the Mexican <laughs> fight fans looking at Canelo, you know, acting like he doesn't want to take on the fight? You side? know, that's something that I, I wait till the seventh. I wait till those 15 days. I think that as as a Mexican. 
uh, and with the, with the history of Mexican boxing and the fans that were here today, they expect something from their heroes. They accept, ex expect something from their idols. They expect something from Canelo. And if Canelo doesn't deliver that, then I think that there's going to be repercussions. I think that they're going to turn on him. Maybe not all of them, but there's a lot of them are going to turn on him, and 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 uh, he's going to he's going to pay for it in one way or another. Maple, I know you guys aren't going to.